hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about cottage core and what it is and how to achieve it with your island. So first of all, it is actually not that difficult to to acquire the items for cottage core decoration. Um, the items themselves can be acquired quite easily through different channels such as Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Pinterest, and all those other social media um, sites where people post their their islands and how they decorate. So I suggest looking at those as reference and for ins inspiration and ideas. So number one, the first thing you need to acquire to achieve the look is patterns, custom patterns. The ones that are available to you in the game are also nice to have, but of course there's always you know, you have 100, I think, slots for custom um, designs. So, you know, get uh, get the ones that really catch your eye. I personally believe that the slots that they're given to you, it's not enough. I think we should get more than what we have. However, you uh, be very picky about what you choose. What I like about this leaf pattern, this custom leaf pattern, is that it matches the leaf piles that you can make with bamboo and weeds so you know that's why i i did that and I, I like how natural it looks it looks as if you know the leaves actually belong with the grass pattern so um definitely acquire something that is green and that kind of you know makes the grass look a little more natural uh also acquire flags or sorry flags um path stones and I like this pattern of path stones because there's like three different types of paths in it. And I'll show you. So these, this is the leaf pattern that I have all over the ground. It comes in two different leaf patterns. Um, I also have, this is the one that comes with the game. It's called a three leaf clover. And what I did was I modified it. I took it and I, I changed the color of the clovers to a pink. So that it looks more like scattered flowers. Then I also picked these path stones. They came from one person. Um, I will list all of the patterns below in the in the description. And you can see that this this stone is takes up two slots because it's a big big stone. And then and then these little ones kind of are all different. And then you randomize it throughout your islands to make it look much more natural, so that they don't look like they're repeating. Also, you need to acquire um, picnic blanket patterns, and I suggest at least three. So, and they should coordinate. And that's another big secret to cottage core. Cottage core always tends to coordinate. So, the colors of my island are mostly uh, very natural, like neutral tones, and I have um, like a light beige and brown mixed with uh, little bits of pink here and there, like this peach quilt. And pink and brown are mostly my colors with some gray in there as well. And I chose this lacy kind of almost stone carving uh, rope mat. Like it can, it can look like stone, it can look like rope, it can look like, you know, fabric. And uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much a secret to it all. And, and you can apply these patterns throughout your island in creative ways. The next thing you're going to need is fringe for your blankets and and your uh, patterns, picnic patterns, picnic blanket patterns. So you need a short one and a long one. Uh, and another thing um, I suggest is to get two different patterns of of uh, bricks and tiles and a raised platform pattern. So raised platforms are great for, uh, I guess, achieving sort of like a stage for things like a bandstand or um, your uh, restaurant areas, uh, your shop areas. It lo looks like you're going up steps and these, these achieve the uh, illusion of going up steps like a platform. These are good for boardwalks for the beach, these wooden planks. So it's good to have those as well. So here, as you can see, I have used um, these patterns on these simple panels. That's another thing you're going to need. Simple panels are 
very versatile and you can place customize them any way you you would like and as you can see in my custom designs they all kind of coordinate together and that's why I have and you can get simple panels with a border with a black border with a white border and there's they come in several different colors uh, the simple panels you can trade with others to get them or just simply keep popping balloons and and things like that and doing DIYs for everybody uh, you're eventually um, acquire all of the colors I actually think you only need the black one and the white one to to uh, um, to achieve the looks that you want in your space. So to get to uh, keep buying, you have, you are limited to a, a number like to five a day. So they're usually in your furniture and catalogs, and then you can you can search, do a search for a simple panel, and then you can uh, find them there. And then you just keep buying them every day. If you, you could time travel to get more of them. So you don't have to like wait. So what I do is I, I search for simple. And they come up this way. So simple panel. So I have the, the variations are light gray. Whoops, I've already, I've already ordered for today. I ordered another five. So you can come, mine come in light gray and black. And I've seen them in other colors too. So that's how you can, that's how people get so many. And if you want to get them faster, you just need to time travel. And you don't have to time travel far, you just travel one day. Uh, now you can use these patterns throughout your, throughout your uh, island. What I did here was I just used um, the simple included uh, wood flooring. And then I put these as little mats throughout, little rugs. And that's how you can achieve this kind of indoor outdoors look. So this is like an outdoor cafe. And then you pl and then say you are, you know, you can place them on your paths. Uh, here, for instance, I've put them on this terracotta path. I put a couple of leaves here, I put the flowers here. This is sand. So I put the sand here and I put, you know, different patterns on the sand. Here I have the waterfall and it looks as if it, it, it um, attaches to this little body of water with a little island in it. Actually, they don't meet, but because we're of, of the way the items are placed, it, it looks like they do match up or they, that they do go together. So you can do that too. So uh, great outdoor furniture is obviously the rattan sets. Um, definitely acquire those and try to put them together because they come in several different colors. There's the, this is the medium brown tone. There's also black and there's also a very a, a lighter colored rattan. You don't have to, you can mix and match, but if they are in groups together, it looks a little more put together. Like for instance here though, I don't have this wardrobe, I don't have it in this color, but I put them, I've just put it off to the side here. And because they're all neutral colors, they all kind of go. So it looks okay still. And then here, you can't have enough barrels. If you have, make lots and lots of these DIY barrels, you're gonna need a lot of wood for that. But yeah, I mean, they go everywhere and they go perfectly with the cottage core theme. Also make a ton of these simple posts wooden posts make lots of them they, they can be customized to several different finishes and you need those all the way throughout your island to make to give it that woodsy natural look also you can never have enough plants to acquire this look um for this is fuchsia's house and you can put the the customized patterns here with different fringes on the to get the the rug here look so that's, this is actually a quilt pattern, but I put it here as a rug. Um, and then you just, using the same design principles, you put the tallest items in the back and then you layer towards the front and going a little shorter and shorter. And you can't have enough plants, seriously. Cocoa plant, fan fern, um, these cute little, little turn, uh, wildflower or is it windflower, I forgot what that's called. Um, spinning thing. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, rocks. Get all the different rocks. Make them all. Make them all. You've got the garden rock. This is this is one garden rock. That's the smallest one. Also, you can customize hammocks. The hammocks look really good in the plain white. So, you know, it gives it more of a modern look to the hammock. Although the default one is like this striped rainbow stripe thing. Uh, that's okay too. But I like the more neutral look, or more modern look too. Yeah. And um, place items onto tabletops that coordinate with your uh, colors. And that, that's a really good way to, you know, pull things together. So, and place your rocks or your, your path stones randomly here and there. Try not to repeat things too much. And that's how you get this look. So again, barrels, barrels everywhere. This is the farming area. And you need to have a farming area if you want to achieve the, the cottage core look to your island. And this is very easy to do. All you need to do is get the silos, put at least two. Um, I've, you can put like three, it's, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. You can customize your silos to any color. I, I chose the turquoise roof one and they come in white and black. Um, I've seen others too. Uh, a wheelbarrow, country fencing. You don't have to use so many blocks of high, um, fencing. You can just use one and it just gives that nice little rustic look. These hay bale uh, fencing are so fantastic for a farm farming area because it looks like you know you're hanging onto some hay for the horses. It's so good. This is a grasshopper cage. The grasshopper cages are wood and they make fantastic little you know decorations for your areas that you want to you know put a little rustic look to so mix and match your country fencing with your posts and your your hay fencing um, you can customize these hay beds to a different color i like the greenish kind of young hay look so that's what i did with this one i think it looks better and here's a butter churn. You can't have enough butter churns. And these are the recycled boots. They make a nice little prop there. The stumps and the grass, cat grass. And these are just placed um, cedar saplings. There's cedar saplings. There's a pink hydrangea starters that you get from leaf. Um, this is a moss ball. What I like about these though, the starter, the young starter stuff, you can walk right through them. They don't block your your path. But the only problem with doing this is that Isabel will count them as as uh, as clutter lying around the floor. So right now actually my island is at four stars because I have these lying around here. But you know I guess that's the compromise I'm going to make because I don't want to put you know I don't want to put a whole bunch of like moss balls on the ground because then I can't run around here like this. So I, I left it like this. I don't, I don't, I'm just going to keep the four star rating. I don't really care. The scarecrows, obviously, put a couple of those and you're set. And a water pump. This water pump can be customized too. Always check to see what can be customized because almost everything can be. This water pump can come in um, like an irony look, a bronze look. This, this is the silver. I thought it was very noticeable, so I, I kept it like that. Mix and match your trees all over the place. Um, this is a tropical island, so you can. It makes sense to have like different types of tre tropical trees mixed with with uh, North American type trees. It's it's totally fine because it's a tropical island. This area um, is a th I I pu tried to pull together all of the pink as I like pink and pastelly look because it's the fun you know amusement park sort of area. And so I've got like, you know, here you can line up. This is wedding fencing. The wedding fencing is incredible. You can use it for so many things. And it gives more of a formal look to your whatever area that you want to, you know, put it in. You don't have to use it for just wedding stuff. It looks great here. Now here, oh, these posts are great. You should die. Uh, Try to get these if you want to make a nice urban area. Put the posts here together with the air conditioning unit. Can't go wrong. These, this is a is a, is a shell stool, but it looks like mushrooms to me. So 
like a toadstool almost, so I just kind of put it there because it gives it a nice woodsy look. Those are great. If you can get the DIY for those, place those randomly throughout the island to give more of a mushroom look. We don't have the mushroom items yet. I don't time travel more than a month ahead, so that's why I, didn't, I don't have the mushroom items yet. Um, they will come in the fall. Every island that, you know, has a cottage core feel has a stargazing area, and I cannot recommend that enough. It's very easy to make. All you got to do is make some cliffs, put a moon there. That's from Celeste. Um, you know, do your, collect your star fragments, just put a few there. Put a little bed. You can use a futon. You can use one of these tatamis. You can use a lounging chair, whatever you like. These are wedding items again. These are the candles that I've customized to the, the garden uh, wedding theme. And then I just put some on top of a stump, which I used, which I customized to the birch finish. And that's a fan palm. And here uh, I just used a ironwood cart and I put the homework set on top and it's great for stargazing and you can look out and look at the stars here. And it looks so nice at night. I have pictures on my Instagram of uh, what this looks like at night. It's just beautiful. And to achieve that cottagey, woodsy look, definitely have lot have areas where there's lots of spruce trees, and then decorate the ground with your with your custom patterns, barrels, candles, and stone stools. You can't go wrong. It's so fantastic. Put garden rocks everywhere garden rocks go everywhere you can put them on top of cliffs it just gives that beautiful rustic feel to your cottage quarry island and don't be afraid to randomize things around don't try to make it too um, symmetrical that's another you know thing to uh, cottage core island decor try not to make it too s symmetrical if you have cliffs like this waterfall cliffs you make these you know, let them let them achieve, let them grow some weeds. Put your custom designs on the top. Put your garden rocks on the top to give it more of a, you know, rocky look. So you can mix and match your garden rocks. I've got the large garden, ro garden rock and the small garden rock there. And then here, I put some, that's the wedding arch back there. That's the garden wedding arch, garden theme wedding arch with the garden theme flower stands and I've got the bamboo circle there and there I matched it with the T set and E tulip surprise box really goes well here it's just a, such a cute kind of a Dutch look to this place actually this area and the uh, I hardly ever see anyone use these um, drinking fountains I don't know why it's so cute so you can just keep it running or you can turn it off it's up to you and I coordinate it with the yellow barbecue set. I thought it was just, just a really cute little sitting area. Put lots of sitting areas all over your island. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you put them. As long as it has, like, a nice look to them. Because you can only look at them one way. So it kind of limits your view, which is, which is kind of good. It helps you actually achieve the look um, easier. If we were able to see things from a 360 view, it would be a lot harder to decorate, I think. So by limiting to just kind of like that, it's it helps you. Every gar every uh, almost every island has a Zen garden area. I made mine really big because there are so many beautiful Zen uh, Japanese themed um, items in this game. So I really wanted to show them all off. So I made this area very big, and. I wanted to have like a secret pathway behind here. So I wanted to show that there, there is one there that you can go all the way around my island. So I put the stone there. I don't be afraid to use your fossils. I like these standalone fossils because they have little signs here and it looks more complete. But the heads also have the signs. So if you have a lot of skulls, you can use them like this. Just use the one part of the skull so you don't have to use the entire body just by using the skull it's nice this is again the wedding um, fencing looks great with the museum because it's such a formal kind of building 
and um, throw in the bamboo trees that you can get off any Mystery Island tours. Uh, this the bamboo, this is actually a seasonal item that we just got recently. It looks really great in your Zen garden. And put them in there. Tiki torches look great too. And these fantastic lamps that you can, stone lamps go great with this Zen bridge. And then you can just terraform your own little pond, put the put the bridge diagonally to the museum to give it something different. Make it look a little different. Another secret is to isolate items that you want to stand out. Like I really love this deer scare. I think it's just so beautiful. So I really wanted it to stick out. So I put a little island just for it in this little pond. And then I made these, to make the pond look natural, you make the edges very raggedy. Like don't make them too square. Don't square them off too much. So it looks much more natural. And uh, yeah, so now you can really see that deer scare. And put place your rocks everywhere. These are the tall garden rocks. Here's a fossil. That looks very rocky. I, I love that. So I just put it there. Kind of introducing to you that this leads to the museum. And um, place your items in a sort of like a circle. That way it looks much more uh, pleasing to the eye. Taller items in the back, shorter items in the front. And this another thing, P place your butterflies. Make butterfly models with flick and put them in your gardens amongst your custom, you know, flooring and, and pathways. Just mix and match all over the place. And, uh, you know, try not to make it too symmetrical. Litter your beach with seaweed. Put stones all over. Put the patterns all over your beach. You can make I don't have enough custom slots right now. I wanted to put starfish and things like that. You can even leave your shells that you get every so often. Just leave some are lying around. Um, oh, here are my turnips. <laughs> yeah. You can also place palm trees, you know, on land by putting patches of sand and putting the palm trees on them. And decorate your villagers' houses. Put path stones here and again with the same items that you can make yourself. These are all things you can make. Uh, the bird house or the bird cage, the, the stool that I've customized to a dark wood, the wedding item on top of a stone stool, a butter churn. This is Cleo's house because she is a DIYer. She, she likes to do things and she loves animals. And, and she's a, a snooty, but uh, not not so much a very um, high maintenance snooty. She, she just likes natural things. Uh, and here I have Marshall's house. Marshall's quite the intellect, so he's got the books and uh, the little birdhouse because he has a nature kind of hobby. He likes to study things. Um, I thought the fan palm really went with this house because it's a very clean and minimalist house. So the fan palm really goes well with it. The hedges are nice and clean. They go with this house very well. And I felt that he was more of a dark tulip, you know, kind of guy. So I left those there for him. For Candy, she's a very fun, peppy um, fashion kind of. She loves fashion, so I figured she probably wants, you know, to keep her clothes clean. So I kind of like that. But I still wanted to look rustic, so I left it this way. And I, you can customize your clotheslines to have different clothing. And here is Gala's house. She's a DIYer as well. So I, I have her tools on, on top of a stone stool. And lots of plants. Buy lots of street lamps and pl place them all over your island. Street lamps are great at, for nighttime. Just lights up your island so nicely. And then over here, this is Snake's house. He's a jock, but his house is very Japanese themed, so I went with that. And this is the kimono stand uh, with incense burner on top of a stone stool. You can do that too. The barrel goes with this too. 
with the incense on top. Or, sorry, the uh, aroma. The aroma holder on top. This is Molly's house. Molly is a musician and and I, I decided to go with that because she loves to sing, even though she's her hobby is actually nature, but for whatever reason, the Molly on my island loves to sing, so I went with that. And uh, she loves, you know, nature and things like that, so I thought this really went well. And then to achieve this look, the path, um, this is a brick path. And um, I just put the, you can, you can customize your paths with, with your patterns, custom patterns, and that's what I kind of did here. So I put the custom patterns inside these and then kind of gave it a kind of a cool... I don't know if I'm going to keep this, but I thought it looked kind of neat, so I kept it. I still have not any... I have no DIYs for public benches. That's why I have it. I haven't put any public benches because I don't have any uh, DIYs for that yet. But I apparently you get those from jocks, and I didn't have a jock for a very, very long time because I... I didn't really like the jock personality so much, but Snake has a very mild jock personality. He's not so um, in your face with it, so I'm really happy I have him. Anyway, yeah, so these are my tips for achieving your cottage core island. And I think that if you do these things, you too can have that cottage core look. For the bridges, um, Many, many people say that the, the brick bridges are not really cottage core. They're more of, a, of an urban kind of polished look. I don't agree with that. I think they look very nice in a cottage core setting. The cottage core, fairy core look, um, the most popular bridge for that is definitely this one. And I, yeah, it is. It's very rustic. But you don't have to do your whole island like that. I like to think that you can have, you know, different areas that all kind of go together, even though they're not all cottage core. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. I will continue to add more uh, tips and tricks for a cottage core look as, um, as my island gets more and more developed. I still don't consider my island to be complete yet. It is near complete, but it is definitely not fully. I'd say it's about 80% there. Thank you so much.